in this video I'm going to explain you how you can make ceiling in 3d AutoCAD 3d this type of ceiling we will try to make it so size I'm using 12 feet by 11 feet so let's start first you have to set the 3d go to workspace and then click on 3d model and set the units here I'm using architecture set the dimension if you want a shortcut key is D and then go to modify you can do let's start with the rectangle command or a line command it's up to you if you are comfortable with rectangle command then you can use it if you are comfortable with line then you can use Twelve feet, eleven feet, twelve feet, and eleven feet. It's our base, so let's move. <coughs> so first, let's draw this design. This size I'm using one foot six inches and 6 inches again 1 foot 6 inches same 1 foot 6 inches and 6 inches offset O enter 1 foot 6 inch trim TR double enter offset O enter 6 inch Again trim TR double enter. Again 1 foot 6 inch. Offset 1 foot 6 inch. It's done. Now use this. Here I am using 3 feet 3 inch. Offset 3 feet 3 inch. Trim TR one time enter click here again enter and then click and trip ok this part is done this part is also done now place the lighting for lighting I am using rectangle command REC enter one time click on screen type D enter 2 inch enter 2 inch enter and then click on screen it's our lighting take offset 0.5 again enter select move just place inside it's 2d plan so now we have to convert 2d to 3d right so you have to use boundary command B O enter click on pick point and then select your area what I did B O enter pick point and then select your area which you want to select it's done right see I did now here we have to show these panels what I am doing take a line offset 9 inch offset 1 inch REC enter just make a 2 rectangle so that we can just copy paste again and again I don't want to CO enter yeah, perfect so it's done see 
here i want show the cove lighting for that i'm just using a 0.5 thickness here i want 0.5 thickness so what i'm doing take a line 0.5 take a line 0.5 same thing you have to do here line 0.5 you can use offset command also it's up to you i want cob light here and then here you can place here if you want then you can do it i don't want i want okay lighting i can use it okay now just use the bo enter pick point click here enter bo enter click on pick point this area this one by one you can select bo pick point select okay now all wonder is selected same you have to do it see i want bo enter click here click here and then click here okay now go to the southwest corner now use the extrude command shortcut key is ext enter let's start from here wooden paneling i'm using 1 inch for these groups go to the south east corner and this part i'm using 0.5 ext enter 0.5 extrude 0.5 this part is done now let's do this portion extrude i'm using 3 inch and again extrude 3 inch this area also 3 inch this area i'm using 0.5 so you can see it's done so let's make lighting four inch
for lighting from here we have to check the center take a line enter take a line from here I am using one feet after that we will erase it take a line again one feet just select move M enter pick point and then place here select the light copy CO change the view select point and then place here and one place in the center again Our ceiling is done so now let's apply the material shortcut key is R M A T now select which you want normally click and click on material select your area and click on your material For example here I want white color and this area we are using for cove lighting select and here I am using cream and this area I am using dark And for these areas black I am using for the these lighting outer and inside I am using light bulb black light bulb material part is done so let's take a render you can see the effect of comb lighting and then our concealed lighting <laughs> 